Hello everyone and welcome to Barty's story time this week. Do you know what we're going to do today? We're going to go on a bear hunt. Would you like to come? We're going to go on a bear hunt all the way down to the seaside where the seagulls Fly. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Shall we get going? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big bear. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh oh. Long grass, long wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we're going to have to go through it. Here we go. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. All the way through the long wavy grass, all the way down the hill to the bottom. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Oh, we made it. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. Mud. Oh, no, not mud. It's a deep, cold river. Oh, cold river. And we can't go over it. And we can't go under it. Oh, no. We're going to have to go through the cold river. Oh, here we go. Oh, splish, splosh, splish, splosh, splish, splosh, all the way through the cold river to the other side. Oh, that was cold. Oh, we made it. Oh, there we are. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. Mud. Thick. Squelchy. Oozy. Mud. Oh, no. We can't go over it. and We can't go under it. Uh-oh, we're going to have to go through it. Oh, here we go. Ready? Don't forget to take your shoes and socks off. <gasps> squelchy, squirchy, squelchy, squirchy, squelchy, squirchy through the thick doozy mud all the way to the other side. Oh, their feet have got so muddy, haven't they? <gasps> Ooh, they made it. And they're putting their shoes and socks back on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. A forest. A big, dark forest full of trees. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We're going to have to go through the forest. The dark forest. Oh, look. How dark it is. Can you see? Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Oh, can you see the little girl tripping over the branch? It's so dark. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, 
stumble, trip all the way through the forest to the other side. And they made it. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a be- Oh, it's not a beautiful day anymore. Look, <gasps> a snowstorm, a swirly, whirly snowstorm in the cold snow. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We're going to have to go through it. Oh, and here they go. Oh, can you see them fighting their way through the cold snow? Oh, oh, but they've made it all the way to the other side through the snow. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day it is again. But we're not scared. Uh-oh. A cave. A narrow, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We're going to have to go through it. Oh, look. It's dark in this cave. It's very dark. Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe into the cave. Tiptoe. <gasps> Big black nose, two big furry ears, two big ugly eyes. What can it be? It's a Tiptoe, 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 and back through the snowstorm. Can you make the noise with me? <gasps> Look, the bear's coming. The bear's coming. Quick, back through the dark wood. Can you remember the noise? Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Oh, and the bear's coming after us. And now we're going... Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going back through the mud. Back through the mud. Can you remember? Squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch, squelchy, squirchy. <gasps> and then quick back through the river. Splish, splosh, splish, splosh, splish, splosh through the cold river. And look, the bear's coming after us. Oh no, quick up the hill through the wavy grass. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. And here comes the bear. Oh, look, quick, we've made it. We've got home. Quickly into our house. Open the front door. Up the stairs. Up we go. Oh no, we forgot to shut the front door. Back down the stairs we go to the door. Quick, 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 shut the door. Oh, just in time, the bear's outside. Quick, everybody, upstairs, into the bedroom. Quickly, into the bedroom. And what are we going to do? Jump up on the bed and oh, hide under the covers. Everybody, quick, under the covers, under the duvet, where it's nice and warm and safe. Oh. You know, we're never going on a bear hunt ever again. Whew. And now we're safe. But do you know what? Poor Mr. Bear 
All he wanted to do was come and play with them all. And he's gone all the way back home, back to his cave, by the sea, all by himself. Oh, poor old Mr Bear. Say bye bye Mr Bear. We'll come and play another day. Bye bye. Well, that's the end of our adventure. And what an adventure it was on our bear hunt. You know, all this talk about going, can't go over it, and can't go under it, and so you've got to go through it. It reminds me of a song. A song all about Jesus' love, which is so high that you can't go over it, and so low that you can't go under it. There you are. And so wide that you can't get round it. It's such wonderful love. Those are the actions to this song. If you know the song, then you can sing along with me. If you don't know the song, then you just listen. And then when we've sung it, we'll sing it again. And so you can join in with it as well. All right. And it goes like this. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Should we do it together? Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Well done. That was great. Really good. Well, we've got another story uh, to tell today. And this is a story that Jesus told. And this one is called The Friendly Stranger. The Friendly Stranger. A stranger is somebody who you don't know. Well, once upon a time, there was a man who had to go on a long journey all the way from Jerusalem, all the way to a town called Jericho. And it was a long way. And so he had to set off bright and early. He got up very early in the morning, very early in the morning he got up. He packed his bags and off he went down the path. And away he went. And you know, on the journey, it got hotter and hotter and hotter as the sun climbed into the sky. And the road, the path, got steeper and steeper and steeper as he went up and up the hill. And the rocks by the side of the road seemed to get bigger and bigger and even bigger. It was such a long and hard journey that he had to go on. And by midday, the sun was burning hot and the poor man was exhausted. But he didn't want to stop because he knew that he had to get to Jericho by bedtime and there was a long way still to go. But he did have one friend with him. I wonder if you can see him. Oh, I don't think we can. Here he is. Wait a minute. I'll see if I can show him to you properly. There we are. There's his friend. He had a little grasshopper who came along with him for the journey. And over here, in the shadows, there's a slippery, slithery snake looking at him. And what's this up here? 
hiding behind the rock. Should we have a look and see? What could it be? Oh, oh, look! It was three horrible robbers hiding behind the rock. And they jumped out from behind the rocks and they set upon the poor man and they took his bags and they took his coat and they ran off, leaving him all alone, lying in the road by himself. Oh, dear. Oh, well, that wasn't a very nice thing to do at all, was it, by those robbers? And the poor man lay in the road. His head was aching. What was he to do? All he could hear was his friend the grasshopper squeaking quietly. Are you all right? Are you all right? But then he heard a noise. Flip, flop, flip, flop. He lifted his head. Was someone coming? Could there be someone coming? Yes! Look! Someone is coming down the road! And it was a priest! A religious man on his way to Jerusalem! Oh, great! He'll help me! Thought the man as he lay in the road. But when the priest saw the man, he said to himself, I've got far too many important things to do to stop and help him. Do you know what he did? He crossed the road to the other side and he walked on flip, flop, flip, flop, leaving the poor man behind. He disappeared into the distance. Well, that wasn't a very nice thing to do, was it? The poor man. There he was. He lay down again on the road, all by himself, feeling terrible. But then he heard another noise. Clump, clump, clump. Clump! Was anyone there? Yes, someone else was on his way to Jerusalem. Who could it be? Oh, this time it was a very important person and he was late. And do you know what he did? The injured man cried out, help, help. And the very important person stopped and looked round in, in fright. And then he said to himself, I'm far too late to stop and help this man. And he crossed over and he walked even faster Clump, 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 clump. And off he went, leaving the man behind. Straight past the poor man and off into the distance. Can you see him walking off all by himself? That's not a nice thing to do, was it? And the poor man is left by himself and the sun sank in the sky. And the man said to himself, no one else will come down the road now because it's nearly bedtime. And he lay still in the middle of the road all by himself. Oh dear. But then he heard another noise. <gasps> clip, clop, clip. Clip, clop. He looked up and there 
was a stranger coming down the road with his donkey. Yes, thought the man. Oh, no, thought the man, because this was a stranger from a country where the people didn't like people like the man, and people like the man didn't like the people who lived in this stranger's country. He won't help me at all, thought the man, because he's a stranger from a foreign country where they don't like people like me. But do you know what happened? The stranger stopped with his donkey. He said, whoa, to the donkey. And they stopped. And he crossed over. And he went to the man. And he bent down. And he put his arm around him. And he said to him, what happened? You look terrible. What has happened to you? What a nice thing to do for the man. And do you know what he did? He helped the man to sit up. He went to his donkey and he got out of his bags a bandage to bandage the man's head. And some water and a sponge to sponge down the wounds on his legs. And some plasters to put on his arms and on his legs. Wasn't that a nice thing that the stranger did for the man? And you know, that wasn't all he did for him. Because even though it was dark and night had come and it was past bedtime, all the stars had come out to play in the sky. Can you see them? The stranger lifted up the poor man and put him gently onto his donkey, and he led him down the road, going as carefully, as carefully as he could, so as not to hurt the poor man on his donkey. What a nice thing to do! And on they went, until at last, in the middle of the night, they came to a house. And the stranger went and knocked on the door, and when the people came out to see who it was, he showed them the man. He lifted him gently from his donkey, and gave the man to the innkeeper and his wife to look after. And he said, here, take this money from me, my money, and use it to buy food and medicine for this poor man, until he is better again. Wasn't that such a nice thing to do that the stranger did for the poor man? Do you know, Jesus told this story about the stranger who helped the man. And Jesus said that we should help anyone who needs our help, not just our friends, because God is always ready to help anyone who asks him. And there we are. That's the end of the story of the friendly stranger that Jesus told. And it's the end of Barty's story time for this week, I'm afraid. But I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye bye. Bye, everybody.